Hi, my name is John Lee. I'm a senior majoring in MIS and I'm from Sugarland, Texas. I write for a lot of people that I know and for my religious community, but there's one person that I want to write in particular for. His name is Raha Momin. I moved to Sugarland in sixth grade and ever since then I grew up with the same 30 friends. And um, you know, Rahel taught me a lot about life, you know, he especially taught me how to live life to the fullest. And you know, the one thing that he really taught me is like, you know, life is short. And he was diagnosed with lymphoma. And for this and my friends, this was like a big reality hit because we didn't really understand cancer at that time and you know, he, we just realized that life was short. And you know, he passed away but his personality is so memorable that he's never forgotten. And to show his character, I want to end with a quote that he really liked. It's from Tupac, and it states that a coward dies a thousand deaths, but a soldier only dies once. One day after class, I was walking home with my roommate, Sinead, and, uh, you know, someone in West Campus just stuck out a flyer in front of us, and, you know, I grabbed it and I actually read it. And, you know, at first I was like, this is crazy, this is insane, like, no one's ever going to do it. But I told my roommate, like, like I'm gonna do this. Like, this is what I want to do. And it took me four times to apply, but hey, I'm finally here. My favorite memory so far would be the half century test because I realized I would not have finished the half century without my teammates Blake and Phoebe. And I'm really thankful for them for always encouraging me on throughout those tough hills. And another thing that I realized is. You know, this ride is real, it's going to be tough, and at times I really wanted to quit, but I kept telling myself this one quote that one of my donors told me, and that was, whenever you feel like quitting, don't stop, because cancer patients don't have the option to stop fighting, and that quote really carried me through.